Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen and amen. Brother Thomas with you here, and this is the ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a word on the view that we have today of God's mighty hand at work in the world. And it is. God's mighty hand is at work in the world today. And there are those who see God's mighty hand at work. Praise God. Glorify God. No, and amen. Yes, indeed. To give him the glory for what they do see of his mighty hand. And looking with anticipation as we see his mighty hand move, his power at work. And yes, we glorify God. We have our hearts pounding in our chest with anticipation of the things that are unfolding before our eyes. And then there are those, of course, who see nothing. They just go on through life every day as though it were the same. It's the blind being led by the blind. And we know the outcome of those. They will all fall into the ditch. All right? But they see nothing going on just another day. You know, then there are those of the evil one who also see what's going on in the world around us today, but they're expecting a very different outcome. But have they got a surprise coming? But the outcome that they're anticipating isn't the outcome they're going to have. Oh no, not at all. God is moving in such a way as to set the stage for one of the most powerful times in the history of man. And we are seeing the stage being set for it today. All that is going on in the world from tiny little things that are happening that reposition by the leaders that are being chosen and put into place to the alignment of the nations, peace agreements here, peace agreements there. Interesting how the changes in, in peace accords among Arab nations and Israel are shaping up because they put a an interesting spin and understanding on the alignment of the nations that have to be in such a place at such a time and do certain things for the second coming of the Lord. And all of those pieces to these puzzles are coming together in powerful ways. And yes, we see the sickness and disease that the enemy is using to control people. We do see that. We see political leaders and political systems doing what they do. And often there are those out there who say, but where is God in all of this? Oh, God is all over it. God's hand is all over it. And God's hand is at work in your life today. And you can believe that 100%. Yes, you can. It's a step in faith. And the evidence is there that God is real, God is true, and it's all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. As the church is truly fulfilling its purpose. And it will. Not the purpose that some may think, but God's purpose, his purpose and plan for our lives. And God is deeply involved in this. Not just in the alignment of nations and thunderings and lightnings and you know such matters as that, but right down to the condition of each and every person's heart and mind. Oh yes, God knows. We learned that in Psalm 139. It's powerful and revealing as to the depth of God's dealing with us. And folks who have eyes to see and ears to hear, understand that. But for those who perhaps do not know this, God is fully acquainted, fully acquainted. He knows what's going on, right down to the minutest detail of our own hearts and minds. In Psalm 139, he says, David writing the Psalm, O Lord, thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my downsettings and my uprisings. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compasseth my path and my lying down, 
and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. We can begin to see the true beauty and power and majesty of God to hold together a creation and yet to touch our hearts in very personal ways. For he truly is acquainted with all of our sorrow and grief. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When amen. And he knows it all. Yes, he does. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Such knowledge it is beyond our comprehension, really. We only begin to scratch the surface of it in this lifetime of knowing all that there is to know about it all. But we can know enough to know God. We can know enough to trust God. We can know enough to see God at work in mighty and powerful ways. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whither I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. That's a beautiful truth, too. No matter where we go, we can't flee from God. I can't run away. Folks, there is no escaping. If you think you can escape, you cannot. God knows where you are. And if you try to run, he'll be there when you get there because he's already there. Jonah found that out. Oh yes, as he found himself in the midst of the sea and swallowed by the great fish. Prepares specifically for Jonah. That fish was in the right place at the right time to swallow Jonah alive, alive, and keep him alive for the three days that he would be in the belly of the fish. Also symbolic of the three days Jesus would be in the tomb. His body would be, his spirit soul wasn't. And on the third day, that body rose from the dead and is alive as Jonah would be vomited out onto the seashore and go and do what God had for him to do. God is in control. He understands, he knows every detail. And you can count on that, folks out there. Yes, indeed. As brothers and sisters in Christ who look with eager anticipation for the coming of the Lord, know that God knows. You can know. And though you believe it not, that doesn't make it not true. <laughs> it is true. And he knows where you are today. He knows where you are today, what you're facing, what you're going through. Yes, indeed. Praise God. And whether you hide in a dark place or stand in the open, if God has a word for you, if God has a plan for you, oh, praise God. Know that it will be true and it will be so. Oh, glory be to God. And we know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made as the psalm goes on, that God knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb, before the foundation of the world. God knew us. Oh, yeah. And he knows us today. And today, as we see the enemy rise up to do all that it can do to silence the body of Christ. Folks, if you don't know Christ, why do you think the devil wants to silence the church? It's not because we don't have a true message. We wouldn't be anything to fear. There would be nothing to be concerned about. Let them. Who cares? But we have a message it's the message of Christ crucified. 
It's what saves. The only thing that does. By grace, through faith in Jesus Christ, in Christ alone. Not of works, lest any man should boast. There's no way you can earn your way into heaven, folks. And a lot of people out there feel that way today. They can earn their way. It'll be okay. Can't do that. Not by works, lest any man should boast. For there is only one way to the Father. It's the way, the truth, and the life, who Jesus is. And no one comes to the Father but by Jesus. So it must be. And so it's not in your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own understanding, but a step of faith. Trusting God at his word. Believing the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross at Calvary. His blood, the price of the forgiveness of your sin that now separates you from God and for which the world is about to be judged and wrath poured out like the world has never seen before nor likely ever will again. As he says, they won't. This is it. This is the big one. All right. So today, 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 as you see these events, as you see the enemy of oppression bearing down, taking freedom, manipulating the events, controlling, looking to enslave us, reject that and believe in Jesus. Trust God and reject the sin of this world. And know that through Jesus Christ, you may be forgiven of your sin and have the gift of eternal life. Oh, and amen. Oh, and amen. All right. Brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord today. Speak his truth. Be not ashamed. Be not afraid. For God is with you. God is for you. God will care for you. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.